Good morning. Today I wanted to speak about two very important words. As many of you know, I like to partake in walks every day. And today I had some thoughts about two words that I think you're going to understand here in a moment. But I wanted to share a quick story first, kind of getting you ready to understand why I think these words are really important for every aspect of your life, including your health. Hence, I'm a doctor telling you these things. When I was 10, I had an opportunity to understand what I wanted to become when I grew up. I had a family member who was very ill, have a medical intervention, and I truly saw the power of transformation when someone was sick, had their right care at the right time, and literally changed their life for the good. And so by the age of 10, I knew I wanted to be a doctor and I wanted to do what that doctor did to help my family member. And ever since then, it's been a really interesting journey. So I went on to college. Um, I was the first to go to college in my family, finished college, and I met my husband in college, and then we got married. And I was trying to figure out, do I still want to be a doctor? How am I going to do this with three little kids? And for everything that took me, I, I did all sorts of thought experiments and tried to do other things, but I kept coming back to the point that I wanted to be a doctor. And I knew the journey would be hard, but in my mind, I had seen myself as a physician and I had said, I am a doctor. I am a doctor. I am a physician. I'm someone who would help provide care and healing to others. And I do believe that word, I am, those are the two words that I think are so powerful for you because it literally took me through medical school and I did an MD MBA with three small children with the help of some people that were very helpful, my husband, my grandmother, and some others, although my grandmother got sick while I was in medical school, but I was very blessed, but it was still very difficult to do and went on to do things that many people said that I couldn't do. I actually had someone tell me that I shouldn't be in medical school because I was a mother. I had people ask me how I could do that as I was a mother and do that to my children. I had someone tell me that was a physician, just because you got into medical school doesn't mean you'll finish. <laughs> so again, I really believe that regardless of the external uh, beliefs that someone can or can't do something, it really is what matters is what you believe inside here and what you think the words I am are very powerful. And I think it's a really important lesson for myself to remind my patients that whenever they say I am anxious, I am a diabetic, I am whatever, that we're putting in the energy and the belief and we're going to make that thing real, whether it is real or not, we are going to make it even more cemented in our reality. So I just wanted to just kind of set the stage, so to speak, of some of my thoughts around the word I am. And tell me if you think I'm correct or incorrect. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. This is just my opinion. And, you know, it's like I said, it's it's I am is often considered the two most important words because they are foundational to your sense of self and identity. When you say I am, you're affirming something about yourself, your existence, your nature, and your state of being. Um, the affirmation is powerful in many ways. Self-identity, I am statements declare who you are, right? Um, they shape your self-image and really how you perceive your place in this world. It's empowerment, okay? These words can be empowering. For example, saying I am strong, I am capable can boost your confidence and reinforce positive beliefs about yourself. Mindset and attitude. I am can also set the tone for a mindset and your attitude. Positive and negative affirmations can have a significant impact on how you approach life and challenges, right? Do you see something as suffering or do you see something as an opportunity for growth? Um, manifestation. Some believe in the power of manifestation. The idea that by affirming something, you literally can bring it into reality. I am statements are often used in that kind of context. Um, and really it's, it gets to the fundamental level of existential declaration, right? So I am is a declaration of existence, you know, and philosophically, um, it relates to the concept of being famously encapsulated by 
Descartes' statements, I think, therefore I am. And I remember learning that concept when I was in college and I took a logic class and they asked us, prove that you are here. And in my mind, I was thinking literally this. And if you think about it, you, you think, therefore you are, right? You wouldn't be able to think if you didn't exist. And regards to health, um, I am, I think it takes on a more significant importance and it directly rates your health identity, mindset, and your overall well-being. And so this is how I think it, you can think of it this way. Your health identity, saying I am healthy or I am becoming healthier can reinforce a personal identity centered around health and wellness. And it really can help you align your daily choices with this kind of health-centric self-view. Um, it gets back to a positive affirmation and mindset. So affirmations like I am capable of overcoming health challenges or I'm committed to my well-being um, can foster a positive mindset. Okay. And then you have this optimistic outlook, right? That's crucial for managing your health conditions um, and really adhering to any treatment plans, including lifestyle interventions and maintaining mo motivation. So it's really important to understand that as a person, you have to believe where you are going. Just because I say something or someone else does, doesn't mean you will get there. It's like you've heard the saying, you can you know, take a, a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. It's the same idea. I can give you all the evidence, the guidance, the, the know-how, what to do, but in your heart of hearts, you have to believe it to actually make it happen. You actually have to do it, but you have to have the thoughts first that yes, you can, and that you're capable. And I think this also gets back to psychological well-being. Excuse me. So mental and emotional health is deeply intertwined with your physical health, right? So affirmations like I am at peace, I am content can promote your mental and emotional well-being, which in turn can positively help your physical health. Um, and it's really important for like behavior change and habit formation. So when you're looking to adopt healthier habits, affirmations like I am an exerciser, I am a mindful eater um, can promote mental and emotional well-being, which in turn can positively impact physical health. I know that um, there's been studies for people who have quit smoking when they someone says, I am a non-smoker or I am trying to stop smoking. These are two different statements so that when someone says, I am a non-smoker, they are more likely to remain in the non-smoker category versus someone who goes, I'm trying to stop smoking because they in their heart of hearts are still believing that they're a smoker and now they're having to fight that, that battle, right? So now there's this, this um, friction and resistance. But even though they both quit the same day, someone who says, why would I smoke? I'm not a smoker. They believe it. They will no longer be smokers. It's really, really powerful. So when I have patients say, they come to me, they're looking to become healthier and they're like, what should I do? And I tell them what to do. They're like, well, I will try. I'm like, you've already set yourself up for failure. I said, I need to know what you can do today, 100% and say, I can, I am, I will, and know it in your heart of hearts, because that, that is where I see things change in people's health shift when they actually believe they can do something. And I don't care what it is, as long as you're moving in the right direction. But there, I need a, a few other things I like to share is stress management. So for example, phrases like I am calm, I am in control, uh, can be effective in, you know, controlling, I hate the word controlling, but managing your stress and anxiety, which can really impact your health in many ways. We know there's a mind-body connection. And so whenever someone is believing they're anxious, believing that they're stressed and saying these things over and over again, you increase your stress hormones, your fight or flight um, component of your nervous system, all sorts of things start manifesting in your health, right? You start seeing evidence of ill health when you're not dealing with stress or anxiety in a helpful way. You'll see higher blood pressure. You'll see Blood sugars increase. You may not be sleeping well, which again, just snowballs into more and more health issues. You make less um, healthier choices when it comes to food. Maybe you don't move. You don't engage in exercise. Your relationships are stressed. All of this starts snowballing on its, on its head and you get a worse outcome versus how can we start with different thoughts of I am calm. 
I am, I was like, or you could say, I am dealing with this stress effectively. I am dealing with this situation effectively. I know that this will come out to be a better place than I was yesterday, whatever it might be. <clears throat> and I'm not saying everything needs to be hunky dory, cheery, always happy, but we choose how we deal with something. We choose how we view something and that in turn will affect our health. So in the context of health goals, for example, I think I am statements can form the um, one's health objectives. For example, saying I am achieving a healthy weight or I am healing can be really powerful for you to envision and work towards specific health goals. So I am healing is such a wonderful statement because when you see that, when you say that I am healing or in the process of our healing, or I am healed. I think everything in your choices, you make this your value because it is you, your self identity. When you say that you start making better decisions to lead you down that path. But anyway, those are my thoughts today on the walk. So is the I am statements. And I hope you found that helpful. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think I am means for you in your life. Um, Cause I know it's been very powerful for me and mine. And I wouldn't be a doctor if I didn't have the intuition to know that I believe something and I could make it happen regardless of the challenges. If you've ever been through medical school, you know how hard it is now compound that with a dual degree and three little kids and a sick grandmother and a few other things that happened. You wouldn't believe what happened. <laughs> this is it's just crazy for myself to even think about what I was able to do, but just took one day at a time. And um, I just knew that it was going to be. So hope that's helpful. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will be back tomorrow with who knows what other thoughts. And you guys are wonderful. Stay blessed and have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care. Bye.